Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the last video, uh, you might have understood the basic setup for AWS CDK and we were able to deploy the basic hello world example using CDK. We deployed a Lambda function and we also generated a SQS queue. Now in this video, we are going to deploy the Lambda function. Okay, in the last video, it was just all about uh, understanding the stack, what are the different uh, CDK commands, CDK init, CDK deploy, CDK sin, CDK destroy. Now in this video, we are going to create a Lambda function through CDK. The overall ob objective of our uh, whole this exercise is we have this Node.js service. Okay. And what we are going to do is this Node.js service with the AWS CDK code, we should be able to deploy that as a Lambda and API gateway. This is actually the outcome we want to get. So to get to get there, we need to understand how we can deploy a simple hello world Lambda function, right? Then we will replace hello world with this Node.js microservice and CDK code. And we should be able to generate a Lambda API gateway. Lambda, we should be able to deploy our microservice as a Lambda. API gateway can expose a HTTP interface, which can trigger a Lambda and DynamoDB for persistence, all these things. So that's our objective. So what we will do is we will just go and take a look on to the simple AWS CDK example, which is deploying a Lambda function. Everyone and welcome back. So welcome to our training function. sessions. And here we are covering AWS. So here is our simple Lambda function. And you can see it's just uh, another demo example. Here I'm just creating this folder as a Lambda CDK, right? And these are Lambda CDK stack, which is generated using a CDK init command. And you can see this CDK stack contains, you can just change the name of the stack, API Lambda stack. And these are the environment variables which you will be passing. And there are some other variables also you can pass because this is nothing but we are calling this demo stack class and just creating the object of it. So you can pass any custom arguments which you have. Here I'm passing the stage. Stage can be nothing but uh, the environment variable like, okay, I, I'm deploying this Lambda to dev, production, and all different environment. Here we are going to create other constructs inside this stack class. So the Lambda stack is extending the cdk.props and this Lambda props, let's say if you are passing some custom arguments, then those can be here. Stage is a string. Stage can be, and this is extending the Lambda props and here, Lambda stack we are getting from Lambda app and this stage is actually a string. We are making sure that it will be passed. Okay, this is optional argument. So first we will get the stage and then inside this class Lambda stack, you can actually add a constructs. The, those constructs can be Lambda function, API gateway, DynamoDB or any, these are like AWS resources. Here first we are trying to create a Lambda function. So there are many ways to create a Lambda function. There is a Node.js function class also there that helps you to create a Lambda function. What the Lambda function needs is the, the code, the function code, right? Because this is this construct is going to create a Lambda function. But here we also need to know what is the Lambda function code, right? Like which function or which particular TypeScript file you are going to deploy as a Lambda function. So inside this Lambda function, you can pass some arguments that will define the arguments like, okay, memory size for the Lambda function, what is the timeout, what is the runtime is a Lambda, because runtime can be a Python, Node.js, uh, Java and all. What is the Lambda timeout? Runtime is Node.js 16. This is specifying handler. Now handler is the function which it is talking. So what we are saying is the main function is a handler and the entry point what we are considering as a file which you are passing as a lambda function so we just need to pass the file name if from the current directory name we need to go back and then there is a source folder inside source there is a index.ts this is the file so it's just nothing but a node.js file path from current directory where you need to go so this is index.ts you wanted to deploy as a lambda function so pass the other argument like timeout, memory size, runtime, and this lambda function. Now inside this, we already have these commands CDK deploy, CDK send, CDK destroy, and all. And this CDK.json already has 
you need also need to update the CDK JSON. In CDK JSON, you need to specify your root file, which is nothing but bin lambda app dot ts because that contains the stack name, not your index dot ts. So inside a bin, make sure that it is reflecting the correct file name lambda lambda app dot ts, and then you can start running the basic uh, CDK commands. So npm run CDK deploy because that is CDK deploy will use this npx command and you can see it is it will be deploying this api lambda stack make sure you already have a aws credentials configured and you can see it is creating this lambda it is just giving you okay what all new what all new resources we are creating and this is the lambda function you can see a sync function main and it is just returning a simple message successful lambda invocation and when you do cdk deploy it will tell you what all it is going to create so it is just creating im role and the lambda function for us cdk deploy is nothing but cdk deploy command you can also trigger the same command using npx cdk deploy right or you can just use the locally installed cdk to deploy things and you can see this api lambda function is getting created this is the stack this is the ar and resource name for your uh, resource which you have created it can be lambda function api gateway dynamo and anything when you do cdk destroy what it will do is it is going to destroy the resources which you have created so it's just like a simple exercise how the resources are created how the resources are destroyed in the resource it is it has just created a lambda function so we can also go to uh, we can also go to aws and check this lambda function has been created or not we are also passing the stage as a name so it can have a lambda function can be deployed to different environment and that will have uh, the name as a suffix and here i just triggered a de destroy command so it is deleting the resource which has been created which is nothing but a simple lambda function cdk out is actually a reference like what all resources we are creating while deploying this and it generates a cloud formation template which then pushed to aws in cloud formation template it already know what all resources are there what is the new resource it based on that it creates and delete things so this is happening through new node.js function right then there are other ways also in which you can actually create a new lambda function new lambda and i think inside a constructor inside this dot function you can pass the all the argument inside this is an object okay what is the lambda function name api lambda 2 and then inside an object you can specify the runtime memory size all these arguments so there are two mechanism or two different ways to create a lambda function using node.js you can use a node.js function class or simple lambda dot function i always go with this second approach here you can specify the the path of the code and all so now we have two different ways api lambda 2 in api lambda these are two different constructs inside a same stack so when you are deploying it will be creating both the functions we already have destroyed the existing stack so now we can just do npm x npm run cdk deploy that will deploy these resources and we can check where these lambda functions has been created here the stage was not being passed you can see so we need to pass the stage in the environment variable so we can just say export stage equal to development or production and then npm run deploy so stage is passed and then you can see export stage equal to development and then npm run cdk deploy so stage will be passed to the construct and uh, two lambda functions will be suffixed with the development as will be created okay it's a cdk deploy command it will create the resources and then we can validate the resources which has been created so these are the two different ways uh, we have already seen that these are the ways in which you can create a lambda function you can see api lambda 2 the handler function handler is index.handler inside index.ts we need to have a handler function name 
okay so these are the two different lambda mechanisms and inside these lambdas they are doing nothing but saying hello world so here also we are doing the same thing lambda dot function lambda function 2 and when you deploy it you will know what you are creating okay this is the final output you will get okay i can just reload this this is the lambda node and in lambda node uh, there is a handler index dot handler so once the lambda is deployed to aws you can go and check uh, the node.js function which is api lambda 2 okay and it's also passed same argument like what is your main handler memory size runtime timeouts and all in camera and deploy i mean there is a issue with the name because this that name i have already used so i need to create a lambda with a new name so it is just deploying and creating these uh, two lambda functions for me if this cdk deploy command successful that means resource has been created in some cases there is a no change in the resource and when we do cdk deploy it does nothing So here either we can keep the stack name same or we can change it. These are the resources. It is using API Lambda to development. Okay, so we can just deploy one Lambda. I mean, this that is just for demo how we are writing this. Environment variables you can pass because Lambda is in Node.js. Even the Node.js microservice has environment variables like, okay, process port node environment database url file system path url or many other environment variables how do we pass them if you see the lambda on the aws console you will understand this general configuration which contains the timeout and memory then there is a permissions what iam permissions this lambda has to read and write function url and then 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 environment variables that we are going to add here these environment variables will be populated back on your uh, on the lambda environment variables when we deploy it. So here it is a permissions. It has a permissions to write to the CloudWatch because we need to create a log group, create a log stream, and all. That's a per default permissions which we have added. Lambda two dot uh, grant permissions or add permissions. There should be something. add permissions and uh, there are other ways like in which you can add the permissions to the lambda if the lambda needs to write to sns sqs or needs to do some external uh, different things add event source this event source is when you when this lambda act as a listener to a particular sns topic or add event source it can be sqs let's say somebody posted a message on sns or sqs and lambda needs to be triggered then lambda can be active and it will just read the message from there. So this is all about uh, how we can deploy the Lambda function to the AWS. Now this is like a step by step. Once we understand a simple Lambda function, then we should be able to do a simple microservice, express app, TypeScript app, app, app and then Nest.js app also you should be able to deploy on AWS Lambda, a single Lambda. Uh, with the proxying, I mean, we should be able to proxy all the requests to that Lambda function. And lambda function at runtime can decide uh, which particular routes to hit. That's how we should we can manage the API services as a Lambda.